Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today I have Lockjaw by Joe Pix. I printed this box for him uh, with my American Lock uh, box design that I have. He sent me the logo and I put the logo on the front and the lettering and everything for him. Uh, the key's in here. I have seen it. It's been a while since I've opened this box up. I got this lock back like before I hurt my back. It was like three weeks ago. And uh, yeah, I, I did open it. I made a video, but I wanted to reshoot the video once I had the box printed and everything. And then my back went and I haven't um, done anything. So I'm talking about my back now. You, you may see some other videos where I've talked about my back and then I don't. Um, I shoot my videos and I post them kind of random. If I find one that I'm excited about, I tend to move it up in front of some other ones that I've already filmed. So I don't post them in the order that I shoot them. And I have them scheduled right now. It's July 6th. And I have videos scheduled to the end of July. So I kind of bounce them around and post the ones that... If, if I'm excited about it, I'll move it up in the list so that it gets out sooner because I'm excited to get it out. So this may or may not get moved ahead of some other ones. It's always a balancing act. Um, it's a little worn around the face of this. So, and this pick is a little bit wide. So sometimes when I try to pick one, I also get the tensioner at the same time. So I'm trying to be careful there. So I have picked this lock, it's just been a while, so now I'm into a false set, and I got a ton of rotation, and a, I think the back three, nope, back four are set. So, if I can feel my way around here. So, I'm used to the multi picks, so to me, the wood makes it, it's definitely a different feel. I don't, I don't tend to feel the feedback through the pick as well as I do with the multi picks. So, Oh, it is open. That last little click that I got opened it. Should have tested and didn't. Kind of went through the pins there and felt nothing, so tried it. So that's uh, Lockjaw. Let's bust her open. Since it's going to change, um, maybe if you catch my video and then after Joe sends it out to the next person, maybe it will look a little different. Well, let's see. I need... A screwdriver that will open this up. There we go. And it's been a while since I've been at my desk. Where is my gut wrench? There it is. I'm gonna uh, see if I can do it without the key. Keep the key hidden. I always feel like a clown with this goat wrench, goat wrench, gut wrench. I wish this side, maybe I'll take my Dremel and modify. I wish this little ramp on this side was a little bit more because it uh, doesn't quite 
catch outside every time. Some, but then I say that, but then sometimes it just magically catches everything. So what do I know? Definitely not that one. It's not gonna work. Ugh. Come on, stupid. I'm talking to me, not the lock. Come on, be smarter than the C clip for once. Alright. Oh. Hmm. is occupied. All right, There's a different pick here and let us huh, flip it. <sighs> One of those days, all right. Trying to get the tailpiece in the right position, and what do I do? Mess it up. There we go. Not paying attention. Lesson learned, kids. Make sure you keep practicing. Take a break and some things start to happen. <laughs> and he's got a T pin in there, and I didn't use a shim. Okay, so it's recoverable. I just need to be able to see. All right. Okay, so getting disasters 101. One, two, three, four, five, six. I knew better than to not have a shim, but yes, he did have a T-pin in there and that got me caught up. T-pin is the next one. And then another spool. All right. Okay. Now, 
bullet, screw with the key pin, key pin one, key pin two. Move them around in a second. Three, four, five, and six. Okay. So, nothing special done to the key pins. They are serrated standard American key pins. Sorry if they're out of view, and sorry that I keep bumping everything. Alright, so we have a homemade serrated, um, a spool that's been modified. Maybe it was a homemade spool from the start, uh, just narrowed down at the one end. A T-pin, a uh, spool, and two serrated. So these are all manufacturer pins. These three are custom pins here. So... Uh, and just standard springs but all right so let's see what modifications he has done to the core um, threading in one two three four five and six so they're all threaded and then some over milling on uh, number five In the top, there is threading in every one of those holes. So, and you can see the threading here on these outer holes. You have to thread one of these, you can't thread through the top. So you have to thread it through the bottom. So you're going to see the threading here on each one of these. So that is lock jaw. Sorry for this disgraceful gutting of that. That was embarrassing. Um, definitely need more gutting practice, but wasn't paying attention and, uh, yeah, paid the price for it, but we recovered. There we go. Joe, this is your lock jaw and it's coming back your way soon. Thank you everyone for watching my most embarrassing moments. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by.